Hello there, welcome back to another photography PLV. This time I'm checking out the new iPhone 14 Pro to see what its photography capabilities are. I did this last time for the iPhone 13 Pro and we're gonna see if it's worth the upgrade. Maybe not if you're still on last year's phone, but maybe if you've got an older phone, it might be worth it. We're starting out here in Rotterdam Central Station uh, with some easy photos. All right, we have to take a picture of the central station itself as well. And these are just some easy warm-up shots to get to know the phone, its capabilities. It's got a lot of lenses, higher resolution for the main lens as well. Okay, this is always a nice shot here. You've got these cool buildings here. You've got the station. We might even get a tram in there. But so far, it feels very much like an iPhone. The colors look great. We have a tram here, which would be nice to capture. So yeah, I'm going to try and capture different types of photos. Here we have a lot of colors, so we can see if the colors pop. Usually they do quite nicely. I'm shooting everything in RAW, by the way, so that I can edit them afterwards, which I usually do with all my photos. Um, let's get a low angle here. I'm just trying to get as many different perspectives here and basically examples for you to look at uh, from this iPhone and as I said probably not worth the upgrade from last year's phone unless you really want to have the newest thing and of course the new main sensor which is which is a bigger upgrade all right let's look back one more time here but I don't know if you're gonna notice the big sensor in everyday photos but it definitely does look good so far. Alright, moving on to the next place. We have the stairs here leading upwards. Always a nice shot. And then looking out over the road here. Let's make sure we're kind of in the middle here. Because that lines up the shot nicely. We have some more colors. We have some greens in here as well. So far it's doing pretty well. I like the colors. And then this one. There's a lot of yellow in this video. But, you know, it's a good bright color. It handles it very well. The skies also look nice on the photos, especially because it's raw, because we'll be able to get something out of them. It's a little bit cloudy. But I think it is doing quite well. All right, let's do another one here. Again, we've got very bright, cloudy skies. Okay, one more to round off this location. I think we've got enough yellows for now. We'll end with more yellows, though. Alright, this is the city hall. Some different colors here. Looking very good. Let's go for some people as well. Some nice bright colors here. And then I'm going to try and get a shot of the entire city hall. Probably without this lantern in the front because that's not very nice uh, maybe a little bit more in the front let's wait for all the traffic to clear so we can get a nice clean shot one of my favorite features of an iphone is that you can take a live photo and you can turn it into a long exposure very easily just go into your photos after you've taken them in live mode and then you just press live and you go long exposure and there you go, you have a long exposure in bright, bright daylight without any filters. It's great to use, even as a photographer. Okay, we're moving on to the Erasmus Bridge. Very nice landmark here in Rotterdam, of course. Um, I like this shot. It's a little bit hidden still, but we'll get there. Alright, let's try out some of the different ranges of the iPhone. So, we'll start wide and we'll get closer and closer as we go. So you can see the different ranges. A pretty wide shot here. And we'll zoom in a little bit each time again. Just to see the different focal ranks of this phone. We have some buildings here we can do as well. I really like all the options you have now with the different zoom lengths. Because they use the main sensor as one times and a two times because of the uh, 48 megapixel camera now. Alright, let's have a leading line like this. And it's even clear. That's nice. Alright, I'm looking up. Don't forget to look up sometimes. You can get some pretty nice shots. 
especially here in the Erasmus Bridge. It looks very nice with the peak of it. Okay, looking out on the water taxis here, we have some color again. There's a lot of yellow in Rotterdam, sorry guys, but it's nice to test like the colors of this thing. And we've got a moving water taxi, so we can freeze the action. I think it looks pretty good. Another angle of the Erasmus Bridge. We can see a little bit more in the skies now. And then we have this building. We have a nice leading line towards it. We don't have the best skies, I'm going to be honest. But still, this will be an honest test of an average day if you're just out there with your phone. Um, I really do enjoy taking photos on the phone. I think it's the best camera you have always. You always will have this with you, probably. So it's good to have good camera capabilities on your phone if you're a photographer like me because then you'll never miss a shot the phone has saved me plenty of times from capturing a good shot when i didn't have a camera with me all right we're going for another long exposure here we've got some reds and we have some reds on this tram and then we can turn it to a nice long exposure by using the live capture mode uh, which is still yeah i said it before this is one of my favorite features of the iphone it's so quick, it's so easy. Alright, we have a nice view here. So we'll try to get another shot, frame it nicely in the center. Get some very moody shots today. Okay, we're going for our long exposure. Probably not going to work out too well because it's a great trend. The most boring color. You probably won't even see it in the end result. But, you know, I just want to use that feature. Okay, we have another bridge. There's lots of bridges here, guys. I see a ship coming here, which would be nice. Again, the yellow. There's a lot of yellow as well. Bridges and yellow. That's going to be the theme of this video, I guess. Um, I want to try and get it just with the water. Um, ah, it looks good. Okay, this is a very typical shot here in Rotterdam. But it does bode a well test for, like dynamic lighting of the phone because we have the shady bit where I'm under and then you have the very bright sky with the white Erasmus bridge for well, the iPhone should be able to handle that just fine okay then another great spot here let's try to get some different angles of this thing let's get a little bit closer looks good and then maybe we can get a little bit further away as well. Uh, just so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, I think that works. Right, there we go. We're closer to the Willemsbrook now. Um, got some nice reds. Something different than yellow for ones. I don't know if it works, but, you know, I wanted to try. And then we have a water taxi coming in, which is always nice to capture some movement in the photo. And this is one of my favorite angles right here. You have the stairs leading up to the bridge. It just looks very cool, in my opinion. It'll be great with the subject, though. But still, it's a great photo anyway. Then we have the bridge here. It's completely empty. We're quite lucky with that today. And let's do it with a, with a car. Might be nice to have a subject. Okay, trying to get the bike in front because it's very Dutch. And, you know, it's just some nice foreground. Add a little bit of depth. Again, a little more depth to add. Testing the iPhone's capability. See if it handles so, uh, that sort of thing. I think it does well. It's also also just a nice frame anyway. And there we go, let's just take a normal photo here. We've got a little bit of reflection going on in the water. And now it's probably time to look up. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you'll see the results. We've got more yellow. But these cube buildings are always nice to photograph. And you definitely want to be looking up here. Because you get the best angles.
And there we go. This is actually pretty empty right now. It's not usually this empty. It's pretty busy here usually. But we get a nice shot of these cubes. And I want to end it with... is going to be a reflection shot here. Uh, it looks very nice. I am very happy with the results of this iPhone. And there we have it for this POV. More POVs will pop up on the screen. Um, as for the iPhone 14 Pro, I think it's great for photography. Probably not worth the upgrade from last year's phone, but if you have an older one, you might want to check this out.